How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel for another 1-6 scale review. Again from Mars Toys, today we got Heisenberg, or as they call Say My Name, which is basically Walter White from the Breaking Bad series. Remember however that this is an unlicensed release, Mars Toys doesn't have the license to do this figure, so please keep this in mind if you are going to buy it. Anyway, here it is the art box in the front with this nice drawing of our character. On the sides you only have Mars Toys logo and in the back as we see in the release of the Master Ninja you got our figure with some poses and the warnings as well. This set comes without a body. Mars Toys su suggest to use the MX02A Caucasian skin tone, it's the one I'm using and I suggest you to do the same or else you may use a body that will not fit well for this outfit. The packaging is very similar as what we saw with the Master Ninja, with all the clothings and everything just in one layer, I'm going to take it all out and show it to you. Here is everything that comes in the box already laying in the light box. Let's see one by one how it looks like. Starting off with the two shirts, we got two color options. The shirts overall look nice, the same button system as we saw with the Master Ninja, so please take care when you handle with the shirt. But basically the tailoring looks okay, the stitching looks pretty clean as well. Very basic shirts, but I think they will do the job just well and it's a bonus that you can choose which color you prefer for your figure. Then we got this uh, undershirt is a bit padded and you got this accessory as well that you can choose to use in the belly of your Walter White if you want to make it a bit fatter. Then the pants, the pants look nice with this velcro system as we always see, the pockets are workable, you can use to put some money inside to make it more full as you want, basically they are very normal pants. We got then this coat with a zipper that very easy to unzip, inside you can see that the quality looks pretty nice, it's just a black coat, you need to work out the colors a bit, but overall the stitching and everything looks pretty clean and it will look nice in our figure. We got then the belt, the belt is a very rusty, at least mine, but the material looks hard enough to handle. We got then the shoes, the shoes in the beginning I didn't like them so much, but with a more detailed look you can see that there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of dirty on the shoes, the soles as well are very well done. I don't remember if Walter White really used these shoes in the series, but anyway I think the shoes look great because they are pretty well weathered and dirty. We got then our Walter handbag that looks pretty nice, it feels like real leather. I don't think it is. Anyway, the zippers all work, you need to apply a bit strength, so please take care when you are handling with these zippers. The bigger one, it's easier to open, you can open if you want to hide something inside or to use with some cash going out, but it's already with foam inside to do this job and the impression that the bag is full, but overall the material looks very nice and shiny. We got then a, a very basic pistol, but anyway it's all plastic, but the paint application is very clean and well detailed. The cartridge of the pistol cannot go out, but they offer two extra ones. We got then a very interesting take on the glasses, because they are all made of wire. There are no lenses, so means that every time the viewing will be very clean, and you don't need to clean the lenses. Everything is made of wire, a, a, lit, a bit thin, I advise you to take a lot of care when you are handling these uh, glasses. We got of course a lot of cash. But this cash, the material they use to produce these banknotes are much better than any others I have. It's not that common paper, it's more rigid and shiny, looks pretty pretty nice. We got as well the famous bags of blue sky that make the Breaking Bad so famous. We got then our display base, it's just a sticker of the Breaking Bad, looks pretty nice, it's always good when they throw a display stand for our figure. Taking a closer look now at our head sculpt, it comes with two band aids, they are stickers that then you can attach to the nose. But this head sculpt, once I took it out from the box, I was amazed, because it looks really really good. I'm not sure if this is a recasting, but the paint application, all the details on the face, on the shaved head, look amazing. 
Everything looks really, really perfect. It's one of the best head sculpts I have seen this year. Of course, that with this head sculpt, you have options. You can use it with a clean face as it is right now, but you can also opt to use the band aids on the nose and it will look like this, which I think looks pretty, pretty nice. The band aids are very dirty. They will look like they have some blood, which give a very nice touch to the head sculpt. And for the ultimate outlook, you got the all combo with the glasses, with the band aid. It looks really amazing. This head sculpt is really on point. It portrays 100% Walter White from the TV show. Here is our Walter White all dressed up. For me, this is the combo outfit that looks better with the jacket and with the green shirt. Anyway, I suggest you to be patient, dress him up slowly to adjust very well the trousers and the belt because may take some time. I'm using the that belly padding. I think it looks a bit better than without. It looks much skinnier without that padding. And for the hands, I'm using uh, hands from Hot Toys. I'm not using the MX-02 body uh, hands. They don't fit at all. If you are a fan of Breaking Bad and for the price that this figure goes and with this amazing head sculpt, I think you should grab this one. I hope you enjoyed this review. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one.